Hi everybody, Alex Aploy here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be looking at a free course on how to create a professional Forex robot trading business in only two months. Now if you've ever traded a Forex robot or intend to trade a Forex robot, it is important that you watch this video from the beginning to the end to get a big picture about what forex trading robots are all about and how they should be traded in a managed portfolio and that is the professional way of trading forex robots but first let's have a look at why you would want a forex robot business firstly it is the quickest business to establish. As we go through the slides, you'll see what needs to be done and you can establish the business very quickly. And why people like Forex robots is that you make money in your sleep. They are working flat out all the time and you and doing all the work for you. You have no staff. You have no premises to worry about, leases, equipment, that kind of thing. And you have total freedom because you decide what you want to do with your time. There are certain tax advantages to having a forex trading business and also the entries to get into this business and more importantly, the exits out of this business are very easy. If you compare a forex robot business with any other conventional business, if you want to get out of that business, you've got leases to worry about, you have employees to worry about, you've got all kinds of things. But this one, you can just stop trading and close the business completely. So your entry and exit is very easy. Now, unfortunately, there's no university course or technical course that you can do that will teach you how to become a Forex robot trader. So most of the business is built on practical experience and skill development. Okay, so let's have a look at the phases that one would go through. Firstly, phase one is introduction to Forex robots. That's a phase that I think we all go to. We don't know anything about Forex robots and we learn in that particular phase. Then there's the second phase where one learns the technical aspects of trading Forex robots. A little bit more detailed, a little more skill that get get developed and then the third phase is the really business phase where you develop skills to manage portfolios and you create quite an extensive infrastructure to run your business and then the final phase is the nice phase because there what you're doing is you're just maintaining your business on a day-to-day -day basis so phase one is the entry level. It's getting to know all about Forex robots. So what you would do is you'd learn everything that there is about Forex robot trading. And in the description and in the first comment of the video, I'll be giving you lots of links to videos and courses that you can attend to expand in this particular area. In, in this particular area, you also learn about Forex trading because most robots are basically just repeating trading activities that manual traders would do. In this phase, you also need to learn about money management, and that means lot sizing and position sizing to control risk. So you need to learn how to control risk. And in this phase, you'd also only purchase maybe one or two Forex robots. But it's important that you get to know those robots very well. You need to know what, what their functionality is and how they work during this particular phase. Now, it's best not to trade real money in this phase at all until you have seen the bigger picture of how to trade Forex robots. Now, phase two is developing the technical aspects of Forex robot trading. And... The first step here is to develop a, the skill to either develop your own robots or to be able to specify what a robot should do because then you'll start developing the concept of what entry instructions should you give the robot, what exit extract instructions, how should open deals be managed like with trailing stops and that type of thing, how money management should apply to manage risk in a particular robot and what kind of filters you can apply like time of day filters or day of the week filters which will 
help you manage the EA. So it's important that you develop the concept of either creating your own EAs or specifying what robots should do. So that's one skill set. Then you need to be aware of the different kinds of EAs. Now you get trending EAs, you get sideways EAs, you get hybrid EAs that will trade in a trending and sideways market, and you get random EAs like the grid trend multipliers, a random EA, you get scalping EAs, and you get swing trading EAs. So you, you need to get experience with all those kinds of EAs because when you start developing your, your portfolio, you need to get a mixture of those kind of EAs in your portfolio. Then you need to be, be able to develop the skill of testing those EAs uh, in terms of how it works, what the setting options do. So you take each setting and you say, now what does this one do? You look at it, you look at the impact it has on results and that type of thing. You also experiment with uh, different instruments, not only uh, forex instruments you could also in, uh, experiment with indexes and other instruments and you can also experiment with different currencies and time frames you also need to learn how to optimize these eas to find the eas true potential and also to understand the risk implications of the various settings and then your optimized settings are, are unlikely to be the settings that you use so you also in the optimization process you identify where balance settings can be found so when you design settings that you're going to be using to trade you will go for a practical trading approach that consists of your optimization information but also based on your own practical forex trading experience and common sense. You'll also, uh, also then know which currencies work the best, which time frames work the best, which market phases are good for a particular EA, and you'll also get a feel of what potential changes you need to make should the EA not perform. And this is a good time to do it. You need to do be aware of what changes you will make if the EA isn't performing before you trade the EA. Not when it's panic stations and the EA is not performing. You need to be prepared before the time. And then you need to also be develop the skills of forward testing on demo accounts, on live accounts, uh, and uh, for, a, uh, for a period that's meaningful where you can understand what the EA does. But you, in order to do that, you need to forward test a huge variety of options such as different currencies, different time frames, and different settings. So the technical side is actually quite a, 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 an important one and also quite a challenging side to master and develop those skills. Now, once you've developed all the skills in phase two, you can then move on to phase three and you can start getting serious and you can start setting up your Forex robot business. Now, to give you an idea of what I do, I have four divisions in my business. I have a testing and optimization section where I have two computers that only do optimization and testing of EAs, either new EAs or an existing EAs that I have, but that is their prime function and, and they are pretty powerful uh, uh, computers. Then I have another division called my laboratory division and that's where I trade different settings and different currencies and different time frames of various EAs that I've tested that have made it through into the forward testing phase. So that is an experimental portfolio. It's, it's testing various options and different instruments. Sometimes I test indexes, sometimes currencies and that kind of thing. So it's regarded as a laboratory. You can do it on a demo account or you can do it on small live accounts. Then I've got another portfolio or division, which is the forward testing division. Now that one is where I've now taken currencies and settings that I'm happy with 
and I am now trading them forward almost in a demo fashion to make sure that I am really happy about the how robust the settings are and whether they they have risk protection settings in there and that I can tr that I can move forward on those particular ones and then the the ones that perform really well I convert into my live portfolio and that's the fourth division that I have and that's the live trading division so just to give you an idea most probably 25 percent of the EAs that are tested in the forward testing division make it into the live division and then I'm always dropping ones in the live division and adding ones from the forward testing and so on so I'm continuously going through a continuous improvement area now the the next the other aspect that you've got to realize is that all of this takes a lot of hardware you need quite a few computers to run the testing and optimization the laboratory uh, trading the forward testing and the live testing so you need to scale up your business to run with a number of uh, of computers and we're looking at most probably six or seven computers to do those functions the, the reason being is that mt4 has a limitation on how many platforms you can trade on one computer and uh, and and therefore sometimes we need quite a big number of computers to cater for all of those options that we are testing but the big thing here is in this phase you you need to develop your skills and again that is developed by on the job training and experience so you need to develop your portfolio management skills you need to be able to build a portfolio of EAs with a certain balance of settings currencies and a balance between trending and sideways EAs so that no matter what the market does one or other of these EAs are going to do pretty well so if the market's trending your trending EAs are going to do well and your sideways ones will hopefully just chug along if the market starts going sideways your sideways EAs will do really well and your trending EAs will hopefully not run into too many losses so you need to develop that portfolio approach and there are aspects there that are quite tricky because sometimes it's a case of just changing the lot sizing between trending and sideways EAs other times it's adding more more of a certain type of EA then you also need to develop your skills of reviewing a particular EA that's not performing so you need to know the weakness and strengths of each EA and you need to know which filters you can introduce to improve overall results so you fine tuning every EA to do its best and then in the portfolio you fine and changing the mixture and balance of the portfolio to do its best so it's a really thorough process and then you need to introduce monitoring processes to make sure that if you are running 400 or 500 EAs that you can tell whether those EAs are up and running, they are being updated on a regular basis and that type of thing. And I normally use FX Blue to just tell me that they are updating. Sometimes you have to physically go and have a look at the EAs to see that they are trading live and that type of thing. So this phase three, again, a huge skills development area. It's a, it's a philosophy that you need to follow and, and it takes quite a while to set it up and develop those skills. So let's have a look at the final picture after you've gone through those phases. We are now in, into the phase where you're just maintaining your business on an ongoing basis so you would have a laboratory of experimental EAs and settings and you would must probably have 20 to 40 EAs running in that laboratory you will also have a portfolio of four testing EAs and settings and you could have between 200 and 600 EAs running in that particular area you would then also have a portfolio of live trading EAs and there you must probably have 30 to 60 EAs running on a live basis uh, and those would be your high performance EAs that are also a balance between sideway market and um, trending market EAs. 
You would manage those portfolios on a daily basis and make changes and uh, where and when required. Uh, that means doesn't mean that you're going to make changes. Every, these EAs are set and forget EAs, but you would monitor them, make sure that they're running properly, uh, that they that the balance in the e, in the portfolio is appropriate to the current market conditions and that type of thing. Uh, the what you also would do is you'd be calm and content because you'd have the knowledge that risk is being managed. As I mentioned earlier, you should never have a problem if the market suddenly goes sideways, you'd say, oh my sideways EAs are doing well. Or if it starts trending very strongly, you'd say, oh my trending EAs are doing well. So you you'll have a calm and content feeling about those portfolios. You'll also follow a process of continuous improvement and experimentation because you'll still have your laboratory sections and your forward testing sections and you will continuously be finding better ways of trading various EAs and you'll be feeding those improved EAs into your live portfolio. And what you can then expect is to make a roughly a 30 to 80% return on your portfolio in a year. A lot of people expect a lot more. That is more or less what you can expect from a, a portfolio. And then because you're doing this on a daily basis and you're continuously working with new EAs and that type of thing, you are developing your forex robot skills on an ongoing basis. Now, the biggest benefit of this is that you will sleep well. You know that you're not going to be blowing any accounts in the process because you will have gone through the process of finding exactly the right lot sizing for your EAs and the exact risk profile. So you will sleep very peacefully. And I think that's what we want. We want to make money sleeping very peacefully. Okay, so now we're setting up a business and I've gone through the process of setting it up and the technical side of it, but there are some qualities that are going to determine your success in this business and they are personal qualities. So I'm just going to run them through them very quickly. You need to have an immense ability to problem solve. So you need problem solving skills, technical problem solving skills, trading problem solving skills, personal problem solving skills so you need those skills you need patience because some EAs take a long time to mature others take, will produce the goods very quickly but you do need patience overall to manage your portfolio you need to be goal driven because the go your goals will get, provide you the energy to work on this kind of project 18 hours a day if you really really want that if you want success you must virtually be able to taste it that's how serious you must be about this kind of project you must be mathematically minded because these EAs really do run on, on a lot of maths. You need to be able to calculate your lot sizing and all that kind of thing very accurately. And you must be statistically minded because in the end, these EAs don't have a 100% success rate. They normally have about a 60 to 50% success rate. And you must realize that statistically, you are going to come out on top because of what you the settings and the trading approach that you use. You must be highly computer lip literate. I think that almost goes without saying because you're using software, you're using hardware. Uh, there are challenges on both sides that crop up and you need a network of help. Who are you going to go to if something happens? Is it Mr. Google? Is it uh, one of your uh, EA suppliers? Where are you going to go? So you need to develop a network uh, for help with forex robot trading again you need to be uh, creative and resourceful hard working again that's why you need those goals you those goals must must make uh, all this work a pleasure for you it shouldn't be a strain but you do need to be hard working and you need to be multi-skilled you, you you need to know a lot about trading and you need to know a lot about the technical side. You often find, and you'll see them on, on the MQL5 website, a lot of technical people that are so good at doing 
uh, 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 forex robots but they are not good at the trading side and that's where they fall down so you can need a, mi a mixture of trading and technical mentality and then you need to be financially able that means you need to have trading capital you can't make money if you don't have money and you also need money for the resources that you're going to use in your business okay so those are personal qualities that you need to have think about those very carefully because they are very important and they will pull you through into success if you have those qualities then let's have a look at the financial investment that you may need now you can take shortcuts in this area but i'll give you an idea this is more or less what i focus on when i'm trading um, you need a six to eight computers and that means the whole exercise the whole screens you need backup facilities you need insurance uh, you need security uh, uh, software you need all those kind of things but you do need a, a farm of computers you need very good internet connection and you need backup for that internet connection so if you're using cable uh, internet you also need to have wireless backup in the background you need trading capital i mean you you cannot if you're making 30 percent return a year if you're only trading a hundred dollars that's going to be thirty dollars so you need substantial trading uh, capital and hundred thousand is most probably a good starting point uh the, the the more the better but on a hundred thousand if you make thirty thousand over here you're doing a pretty well on a, on a half a million you know you're doing a lot better then and you need accounting processes to actually keep track of your gains and your losses because remember losses are tax deductible and your gains will potentially be taxable depending on what kind of tax uh, planning you've done and again you need to do some tax planning uh, forex trading allows you to uh, a lot of flexibility uh, to um, plan your tax to pay the least amount of tax on a very legal basis so that's the investments required so there's tremendous financial investment required and there's also uh, personal qualities that you need to have now in a video like this i cannot supply much more information that are than i already have but i will be supplying a lot of links to to most of the aspects that i spoke about earlier in the video just look at the description and in the first comment of the video also please re-watch this video I found this jump from buying an ea off the shelf to creating a farm of EAs, a laboratory of EAs, and that type of thing. Rewatch it and make sure that you understand the whole process of how to set up a business to trade Forex robots. Also, you don't need to set it up perfectly first time around. You can do it uh, on a much lower basis than what I've mentioned and slowly build it up over time. But the important things here are that you develop the skills to manage portfolios and resolve problems when EAs aren't performing as well as they should. Please regard this video as a checklist that you can use uh, and I will expand on in, uh, on some of the points in future videos. I hope I've given you enough information on how to create a professional Forex robot trading business in two to three months. And I hope you've learned from the content of this video and enjoyed this video. From me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.